I find strongly that the burden has put to you, yet the county attorney should actually respond to some of this. Uh, Chair, this did not apply just to this. We were unable to use our disaster money as well. Uh, and, you know, we're trying as much as possible not to cross anyone's paths. We're trying as much as possible to, uh, to oblige by law. Uh, because I know for a fact that failure to do that, and it is important that this has come to your attention, uh, the advice that we're going to be able to get from this honorable committee is we will, we will uh, uh, gladly be able to, to follow on the same. But I think Article 228, even as you're deliberating on the same, maybe also go through Article 2285 of the Constitution, which the control of budget has drawn, um, uh, the Office of the Control of Budget has drawn its, uh, its powers and understanding as to why. Uh, but the rest of the issues uh, would not be on our part. I'm only a consumer, but I would prefer that instead of being part and parcel of the ones who will make this, that uh, if you could be able to give us that guidance. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, members, let's let's make progress on this. Time is not on our side. Yeah. I would uh, yes, yeah. no. No, no. It's not about time. order, order, it, order. It, it is not about time. No, time. no, order, order, order. Researchers to give an opinion to this committee, and then we will uh, give direction on how that matter will be dealt with. Honorable members, the query before us is the inadequacy of enabling legislation. This is the substantive query, but the matter that governors raised is also weighty. So that has, I've given direction that we will have an opportunity as a committee, because that is a substantive issue that does not affect Mombasa alone, many other counties. So the committee will have an opportunity to look at that after getting an opinion from the staff, then we'll give direction. I would like to give Senator of Mombasa a chance, and then we move to the next query. Chair, I've looked at uh, Article 2284, and the governor, over all these legal issues that are happening in the account. And if that also does not stop you from seeking uh, the opinion of the Attorney General in the event that these issues are not uh, competently handled or adequately handled by the Office of the County Attorney. Thank you, Chairman. Chair, may I, may I respond to that? In the year ended June 2022, we have a query on irregular remittances to CRF of 25.6 million shillings. That will be dealt at that point. So, I don't want us to belabor that point because I've already made a ruling that uh, we will have a look at the letter. The staff will give us an, a legal opinion. They will give us a research report. And then on the basis of that, the committee will uh, give direction. If it will require that we write to the COB, we will do that okay. and uh, unlock the problem. So I want to request that we move to the next query. Chair, I think... Uh... Chair, you're not fair to the governor of Mombasa because he needs to get his funds. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I, I have already given direction on that matter. We cannot, we cannot, no, 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 you can't exchange with me. You know that you are out of order. You are out of order. You are out of order. You know, I have given direction. Because honorable members, we must understand that we have very little time. We have three funds to deal with today. We cannot exhaustively deal with a matter in this meeting. If a matter requires further advice, from our legal team or our researchers. I think that's the smoothest way to do it. So that they give us a report, and we make a decision on that report. We cannot exhaustively discuss every matter. This matter is also coming as a query in the last financial year of 2022. Because if we go the way we are going, we may not be able to finish the issues before us. And that will be very unfortunate to the people of Mombasa. 
So I will allow Senator Olekina uh, the last comment on this, and then we move to the next query. Chair, just to conclude on this matter, uh, to conclude on this matter, Governor, if you read the letter from the controller budget, the controller budget, and I'm sure you've referred to Article 228, but read Article 2284. She's limited to only funds which are withdrawn from the Equalization Fund, from the, um, from the you know, CRF, and from the other fund where Ruto gets his money from, under 205. Consolidated. Those three funds. This fund is exempted, and the letter is quite clear. The letter says, and that's why Senator Hamida is right. It says, further, please establish whether the funds realized under this act are deposited in the county revenue fund. Or, same is exempted from the county revenue fund. Not to provide supporting document if the funds are deposited to the county revenue fund. She's only concerned about money which is deposited in the county revenue fund. May I? May I? So let me just finish. So your legal team needed to have written to her and said these funds are exempted from the county revenue fund. Period. And you proceed. That's it. Okay. Or oh, CRF. Okay. Huh? We, 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 which is fine, but in terms of uh, the flow and order, uh, members, I want to request that uh, you hold on to your questions. The governor will be able to respond to them at that point, please. Because we are getting mixed up on issue of legislation and then CRF, then we mix the governor and... I, I'm unmixable, but... Yeah. <laughs> So, so I, I, I want to request uh, Senator Olekina and Senator Amida, please hold your horses. We are coming to that query. On the Governor, wait with your response. Noted. The issue of budget control and performance, which is in 2021, and the issue of failure to provide an approved budget. Is it the same thing? Closure of businesses and a decline in tourism, thereby adversely affecting revenue collections to the fund. To address this challenge, management implemented prudent measures to utilize revenue collections, resulting in under-expenditure of the budget. Some of the measures, Chair, that we have currently put into place is mapping out all revenue collection points and also capacity building of our revenue collectors. Chair, basically, uh, the money draws its, its uh, the fund draws its money from points that basically sell alcohol. During this period, the people uh, 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 people decided uh, to put the bottle down. I don't know, but uh, uh, a lot of bars closed down as well uh, during uh, during this. Uh, yeah. Bars were closed. Yeah. Your your comment, auditor, on the response. Chair, yeah, they, they've justified the law collection of funds during the year. Uh, that period was the year actually of COVID. This may have affected the other. But is, uh, is there a concern is valid that maybe the public never got the service because of the poor collection of their budget? Thank you. Very well. Any member who has a comment on that? Um, my concern is that um, you see the collection of revenue is probably through licenses. So we need to check, even if you close a bar, maybe they had already paid the amount. Because it is not collected on a daily basis. True. You know, it's not an issue of today. If you close the bar today, uh, then that means I will collect revenue. But you know, maybe it was collected by the beginning of the year. Uh, I think that's something that we need to think about, Chair. Yeah. It is becoming juicy again. Small things in these things. Thing is, is in place. So there is the same guy or a new person, because this alcoholic uh, fund, uh, drink control fund, is a sinkhole. In most counties, it is a source of revenue that you never quite trace. Uh, and 
a lot of collections. The uh, liabilities, uh, as opposed to yet licenses. Uh, do we have an audit? Do we have an audit of the bars during the period in question that paid? Do we have a schedule that shows who paid what? Because even during COVID, people paid. I mean, in Obasa, people drink a lot, people from our country. Mm -hmm. Then they didn't go. Uh, yeah. People from Afghanistan, country, because I know that most people in Mombasa do not drink. But <laughs> I think it's just important to trace whether there are actual records that show that there was no collection at all. Or is what system do you use to collect? What system do you use to verify collections? And okay. I'm concerned about whether the same guy, fund managers, the same alcoholic, uh, control fund manager, the one is in place or someone else, because they are very sly people. <laughs> the, point, the, uh, the fund manager has uh, yeah. has since been for us to be able to give you a breakdown because Mombasa has gone totally digital. In fact, we're at 99% uh, uh, digital when it comes to our revenue collection. Three, this money currently goes to the uh, county re revenue fund and not to the alcohol fund. This is where now the genesis of the, of the previous argument that was there, where we now wanted to actually transfer that money we had collected for alcohol back to the alcohol fund. Then came that issue now as to whether it was legal for us to be able to do that as per the uh, COB. But um, as it stands right now, the, uh, uh, it is very easy if uh, the Senate would wish for us to be able to give them a list of all the people who paid on that year, we can be able to provide that particular list. Yeah, yeah. How long do you need to provide the list? How many days? Just, just a couple of days. Uh, it's, it's digital. Uh, we just, all we need to do is uh, do a formal, uh, uh, for purposes of financial prudence and also to ensure that we do not uh, do anything that is going to be to be illegal. We don't want to give verbal instructions. So maybe when we go back, the CC will just write to the to the person in charge to tell them to be able to produce that. Since that money is not halal, I don't know how it sits in with your with Amida and. Uh... Uh, I'm I'm a governor for. For the drunk, I'm a governor for the saints. I'm a governor for the Muslims, I'm a governor for the Christians. And I'm a governor for the atheists. I'm a governor for the righteous, and I'm a governor for the one who is non-righteous. I, 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 um, I believe firmly uh, um, uh, where, where I come from, Chair, we are a very cosmopolitan county. Um, the uh, funds from the county government uh, have been uh, previously over many years been used to celebrate the Christmas uh, celebrations and now uh, we want to do something over, over Ramadan as well so uh, and, and by the way this money goes for purposes of rehabilitation and maybe something chair you need to be aware one of the things that we have also proposed in the new legislation I'm sure Senator Faki will agree with me on this matter, him having, uh, uh, having uh, um, actually being a senator of Mombasa. One of, oh, no, no, he's not, uh, he's, uh, uh, chair, chair, maybe you need to proceed, to proceed. Uh, but uh, one of the things that we also want to do is uh, the money that is collected from the Mira as well, we want to pass the legislation that that money should go for purposes of rehabilitating our young people. And that is the legislation that we have drafted and put into place. Okay. Senator Edi, what's your point of order? Chair, yeah, we're having a lot of meetings going on. And also I wanted you to, 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 to urge Senator Ojienda not to go to personal matters. I don't suspect that even the managers that he's questioning are, are drinking. Uh, you know, because he he is he, is imputing that those managers might have might have, might have drunk the funds. So, 
just just tell him to stick to the <laughs> I, I, I suspect they only do shisha but <laughs> you, you you tell him to 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 to, to not question their, their their personal character in this in this uh, query ma'am not get time to ask questions as you've uh, tried to to roll eh? and see now what it turns yeah, uh, members please consult in law tones uh, and uh, address matters through the chair uh, Senator Faki, is your comment on this query? It's quite straightforward. Uh, 2022, June. June 2022, uh, irregular remittances to the county revenue fund. Kenya shillings, 25,699,000. Uh, you read through the query, and then, uh, Governor, you read the written response and you pick the first query uh, that was asked by Senator Olekina on the yes. same. Yeah. In the process, uh, process do I, uh, we've already read this verbatim, but I can read it again. Not uh, yet. Let the auditor read the okay. query first. Oh. The Auditor General on Mombasa County Alcoholic Drinks Control Fund for the year under that year, June 2022. Uh, lawfulness and effectiveness use of public resources. Irregular remittances to the county revenue fund. The statement of financial performance reflects Kenya Shillings 25,699,000 in respect of legal licensing fees and application fees collected through e-citizen portal, PESA flow, and are remitted to the current revenue fund. However, the remittances to the CRF were in contravention of the Mombasa Count Legal Licensing Act 2014, which mandates the fund management to collect and retain licenses and fees payable. As at the time of the audit in October 2022, the fees had not been refunded and banked in Mombasa County Alcoholic Drinks Fund bank account. In addition, the account revenue fund bank statements reflected aggregation of revenues, which included revenues from single business permits, outdoor advertising, fire certificates, and other revenue streams. In the circumstances, management was in breach of the law. Thank you, Chair. Very well, Governor. Chair, the fund, sub, uh, fund account, however, the control of budget declined the request, citing the absence of enabling laws and legislation. Consequently, the fund initiated the process of drafting the Mombasa County Liquor Licensing Bill, which is currently in the draft stage awaiting approval by the County Assembly. And I think this is where we, we were. Um, the way it is, let me just explain so that maybe members of the Honorable Committee can be able to understand. The money had always been going into the CRF, directly into the uh, County Revenue Fund. When we came in, we said we need to calculate how much money of the alcohol fund has been into the County Revenue Fund and we transfer it now back again into the liquor board. This is when we did the requisition. And upon doing that requisition, um, the senator is right. There are some of the issues that the control of budget raised that were seeking clarification. But some of the issues that the, senator, the control of budget also raised were issues talking about a contradiction. Like issue number two, section 22 provides that the fund shall be administered by the director subject to the direction of the county executive. This is contrary to section 116 of the PFM, which provides for the designation of the administration. She even goes ahead and talks about section 22.3, provides for the functions of a director. This is not in conformity with the functions of the administrator of the fund as provided for. Basically, she has given an indication as to how the um, the fund in itself is flawed. Um, the act provided for use of the fund, uh, but has not capped the administrative cost at three percent, which is another issue that she has also been able to to and to be able to uh, come up with a remedy of something that is in contradiction, and it is already an act. You can only be able to do that through an amendment or an. Uh, um, you repeal the whole. However, on the issues that she raised, we did write back to her on 27th of November. We, again, 
do not, and I, and I wish uh, with a lot of humility, again, with a lot of humility, honorable members, let it be, not, uh, let it be known that at no time have we um, come to castigate the COB. We're only stating what it is that we had received. However, if the Honorable Senate will provide us an advisory that with immediate effect, this money should go into that particular fund and that money can continuously be used from that fund as we are also simultaneously changing. The only thing that will happen is we will give instructions so that the system, the, the, the system of revenue collection, now for people who want to pay for alcohol, they will simply, that money will go into that fund instead of the CRF. However, we will have to do our calculations backwards so that whatever we had collected, so that we are not at any given time in, uh, in a position where we have broken uh, the law, whatever we have collected after these matters with the COB have been cleared, then we can only be able to remove money from the CRF and transfer it back again to the liquor uh, fund. But as it stands right now, we are at um, the guidance of the Senate the way they will be able to guide us on this matter. Yeah. Uh, just a moment uh, for auditor to respond, and then I come to you. Auditor, your comments? On Chair, uh, the response, as we've said, is based on the letter to the COB, which was done after we addressed and the liquor fund was formed. So it has been an issue we've raised over and over, and uh, the governor and the management of the county has shown initiative of solving the problem. But as this report stands, this was signed on uh, 30th March 2023. There are no action had been taken. But as we stand now, the status is that action, they've started taking action on it. And as you pointed out clearly, this money goes to the CRF and to take it back to the fund needs a proper approval from the COB. But initially, when the fund started, because they are mandated by the, by the act, they could have gone straight and operated and fund separately. Thank you, Chair. Sure. And I don't want to, us to spend a lot of time on this. The letter from the COB is completely misguided. It's misguided in, by the following reasons. Number one, the law, section 109, two, exempt money that has been set up aside by a fund that has been established under section 116 of the PFM Act. And 116 of the PFM Act is very clear. It says that the county executive committee member for finance may establish other public funds with the approval of the county executive committee and the county assembly. There is no approval which is being sought from the controller budget. When the controller budget writes the letter and says that the act contravenes the uh, sections, or rather not the act, but uh, I think the act contradicts itself, she's now taking on the position of an arbiter, of the judge. And she is not, she's inviting herself to now trying to give judicial review on the matter. In my view, and I think the auditor has been very clear on this matter, the auditor has said the mistake initiated from the point where you deposited money to the CRF. You ought not to have deposited money from the CRF, from the GIGO. So my advice would be as follows, because this is what the law protects. If you read section 116 of the PFM Act, all the powers. There are only two people who are mentioned there. Number one, CEC Finance. Number two, the County Assembly. Those two people. There's nowhere which is where the control of budget is mentioned. Article 2284 of the Constitution also limits what the control of budget can be able to control. So, Mr. Chairman, my advice would be this. Because we are here to protect devolution. We are here to protect the counties. If you read Article 96, it is quite clear on our role here. My advice would be as follows. One, that the county executive writes to the CC 
to your rights to the control of budget and say we made an error in remitting money which is supposed to be remitted to this fund to you. You know, and this is the law which has been passed. The county governor here cannot amend this law. It is only the county assembly. So if there is a problem, it is taken to the county assembly. The control of budget cannot amend this law. It is only the county assembly, neither can the auditors. So that's issue number one. Number two, and that will be my last point, is that from now moving forward, all money, because there is a law, all money that is generated from as per section 21 of the Mombasa County Act, that says the fund shall consist of monies as may be appropriated by the county assembly, licenses and other fees as may be payable under this act, sums as may be realized from property forfeited to the county government under this act, sums received including contribution, gifts and grants from there, uh, from or by ways of uh, testamentary bequest by any person, monies earned or arising from any investment of the fund, all that money should be deposited into the fund. And that fund, when you talk about section 24, the administrator of the fund gets the powers from the CC finance on how to do it as per section 116 of the PFM Act. Mr. S Mr. Chairman, that is the, uh, the valid position legally as I read what has been presented here to us. Very well. Uh, Senator Eddy, I want to Chair, close. Chair, I think, I think this matter we have gone through, it. and then we, we move from this. So we can go to, another next, to, the, to the next query. I, I think that the, uh, the framework for regulation has been given by Senator Ledama. That's all you, want, you need to do and do, and, and uh, we proceed. Uh, I don't think we should deliver more yeah. on this query, Chair. Chair. Just go down to okay. Senator Eddie. Yeah, I'm just wondering who makes the laws. Is it the county assembly? It is. So if it does, then 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 it has flawed definitely. Because I've realized the governor is really trying to defend uh, the law that the assembly uh, passes. You know that has really been flawed. As much as we are chappying uh, the the. Uh, the attorney, the county attorney, but then, of course, I, I feel strongly that also. Uh, uh, Chair, let me just. No, that, you are, no, it's a question that I've asked. You said you wanted to write on Senator Eddie, yes. but now you so, are. No, no, no. Just a quick one. Let me just finish. So. <laughs> well, Senator Eddie's point. Sorry. <laughs> what are you thinking? Senator Jenna, you're crazy. <laughs> So, so maybe we, we may we 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 are stuck here. Uh, maybe due, due to no. Hey, well, uh, Proceed. Yeah. So, so I think there should be a consensus between the county assembly, who make the laws, and also the the attorney. Then at least the governor can really be you know guided on this. This is my take. They lost to go for lunch. The, the bills, I think you had the governor saying that uh, in the uh, county executive, they have discussed the bills. So the bills are coming from the executive yes. going to the assembly. Okay. So maybe if there are any flows, then the, 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 the flows are coming from the executive. Yeah. But, but I agree yeah. with Senator, Senator uh, Olekina, except that uh, in terms of the advisory from the co control of budget, it's also timely because the control of budget before uh, allowing a release of funds has to see the legal framework under which the funds are going to be, to be applied. Thank you. Honorable members, we are going to look at the letter. We are going to get the opinion of our legal team and uh, researchers and make a decision. And uh, the issues that uh, Senator Lekina you have raised also. Then we will make the appropriate communication to the control of budget. Chair, may I just um, uh, quite, quite briefly, but um, Chair, for this particular legislation, it is being, uh, um, I'm not sure the then act who wrote that one, but I'm assuming it was the executive then. However, the current amendment that we are doing, or rather the repealing and the new, has been drafted by the executive, which will then be handed over, either the leader of majority or the chair of the committee, to present it 
as per how national laws are made as well. Uh, I don't think that um, uh, putting the blame on the assembly would be would be fair because there was a lot of issues. This is something that even at that time when they were making the law, I'm sure they sent it to to Treasury for Treasury's input, and which is basically the way the law is. Chair, we need your guidance. Senator Likina, and I think it is an issue that the other senators have, have uh, raised. And for us, it is simply to write to the person who we are working with in the digitization of our revenue collection. If you, as Senate, are going to give us the go-ahead, then immediately we can be able to make sure that the money that is collected as liquor is immediately sent, not to the CRF, but to the liquor uh, board. That can be done instantly. Even as we seek to satisfy the queries of the Auditor General and the queries of the Control of Budget. But as it stands right now, as it stands right now, we cannot consume the money that we are collecting for liquor. We cannot consume it for purposes of rehabilitating our young people. We cannot consume that money. We have two rehabilitation centers that we have earmarked that we want to put up, and that money is meant to come from this fund. So if this could be taken with a bit of a speed chair, because right now is the time that, uh, as uh, the senator of the great county of Kiambu said, now is the time that the bars are paying. So if this can be expedited and we get clearance from the Senate that that is the right way to go, we would be, we would, I think this would solve a big problem to everyone. And I want to yeah. thank the Senate for their guidance on this matter. So I think the, the Secretariat next week so that the committee can make a decision. Thank you. On the way forward. No, 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 please. Uh, honorable members, it's uh, past one. We have one more fun to go. Chair, the current government of Mombasa Elimu yeah. Fund. Chair. Uh, at the threat of sounding that I'm diabetic, but actually I drank a lot of water. I'm not diabetic. Can I be able to take another 30 second uh, break? I've, I've already t drank two bottles when I was just seated here, with your permission. A 30 second break. Hardly 30 seconds. Strictly seconds. one minute. Okay, thank you very much. Strictly one minute. Asante. <laughs>